watering systems on the homestead. In the last video, I talked about goals as far as time, and I threw out some ideas on watering. So I figure I'd show you a few that we do around here to give you some ideas of what you could do at your place. This is the native garden this year. This plot, it's 25 by 25 in bed. And then there's another two or three feet on either side. And front to back, there's about six or eight feet. But in the middle, we have what's called a wobbler head, or just a wobbler. And what's cool about these is their radius is 40 to 50 feet, depending on your water pressure. And you regulate the water pressure, but they don't put out that much water per hour. Um, I think this one is four and a half to five gallons per hour. So if I forget this one and I leave it run all night, it's like putting a good inch of rain on this plot. It's run pretty simply. That three quarter poly at the bottom is coming back from a spigot at the house. And it runs up. Now you see I split it to the right. The right hand side is for a water hose so I can do different stuff in here but this straight up and down one goes to a valve when I turn this valve on it goes straight to the wobbler head but before we come down to the wobbler head we go through that right there this brings the pressure down to 10 psi going to that head and that's the key with those wobbler heads they don't take a lot of pressure 10 or 12 pounds of pressure I think some go to 15, um, but when you do that, you just get more uh, diameter of spray, not so much um, volume. But it covers this whole plot, even outside of my fences. It hits the raised bed that's covered in the back and just goes in a nice big circle and waters everything inside of here. Man, I can't even walk through here no more. But that's one watering system for your garden, um, especially if you have a square plot or even a round plot and make something fancy. And um, they don't use a lot of water. You need an, a certain amount of water to water your plants, but they don't use a, a lot of volume of water. You can run them longer without really putting stress in your pump. And you put them on a valve. Once you get down how much you need to water, then you just turn the valve on, look at your watch, and come back and turn it off. Now, I also wanted to talk about drip tape system, but I'll have to put that in a separate video. Look for that next.